So welcome. I'm Creative Sarah and I'm here to uh, teach you a thing or two about crafting. Today I promised I was going to teach you how to do that really awesome 3D effect like in this skull. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that today. Okay. So I am going to use the same skull that's in there and I'm just going to cut it apart using my transfer trimmers. They're an awesome non-stick coated scissor. So they're really, really great. Now this transfer is called um, etched skull. Uh, for the etched skull, of course, we are gonna use this etched skull three times to make our 3D effect. And I thought, what better to make this on than our new white arch and base? Have you seen this yet? This is our new boutique arch surface. These are so trendy right now in design. Comes with a base perfect to hold the arch up. So I'm going to do the arch and basically I'm going to take this transfer and I am going to um, chalk it three times in three colors. 3D has the green and the red, right? So we are going to um, the colors that were used on this one is a, instead of a green and a red, they chose to do a, um, um, our coral and our teal. I am gonna go ahead and do green and red, okay? All right, so I'm gonna break out our brand new cherry color. This is Ooh, I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh, it's beautiful. Such a beautiful color. I'm just gonna kinda get all of that. It's like when you open a pudding cup and you wanna get all of the stuff off of the little seal here. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use this a few times. So I'm gonna peel it off. Now, I really don't need to fuzz it or anything because I'm using our boutique surface. I'm just going to, this is where it's gonna be um, like centered. And I'm gonna move it to the left of center. So my first chalking is gonna be to the left of center. And we're gonna make this our red, our red skeleton. All you're gonna do is take your squeegee and your chalk paste. This is called cherry and it's a dark red. I love it. Um, and just cover the silk screen with, you know, by using that scraping method. Super easy. Now, I'm just going to wash this off real quick. Okay, then make sure our transfer is good and dry. And it is. Now, I am going over this chalk paste, so I'm going to fuzz because I'm not just going directly onto that boutique surface, I'm actually chalking on top of chalk. So I want it fuzzed. You can do it wherever you want to fuzz it. Your shirt works, your pants work, your fuzzing cloth works. Then I'm gonna slide it over. I'm gonna slide it over just a tad. And I'm gonna do my black. This time I will take one of our small squeegees. 
This time we're just using the black chalk paste and we had moved it over just a little bit. Again, just cover the silk screen with the black chalk paste. Ooh. Okay, so now we need to do the third layer. And I'm gonna fuzz it again, and I lied. I said it was green and red, but it's really blue and red. So you guys knew, and um, that's fine. We're gonna, I'm gonna make sure this is totally dry because I see a little bit of shiny spots right on here. But as you can see, it's already starting to get three-dimensional. To the right just a little more there we go and when you use your 3d glasses the cool thing is that your eyes are going to get tricked into seeing a 3D image. It's really cool how it works. And of course, when you're looking at it full on, you're going to see that it's going to be 3D kind of popping out um, with your regular eyes. Now, get on, put your 3D glasses on, and tell me what you think. It's as simple as that. Do your red layer, your black layer, and your blue layer, and each layer moves on top of the other one slightly over to the right. <clears throat> when you wear your 3D glasses, this will pop right out at you. I think it is super cool. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial and come back for more. I am here five days a week with brand new content every single day. Um, if you're new, you can go ahead and comment VIP right in the comments and I'll send you a message with a, with a link that you can join my free DIY and crafting group and you'll get more ideas, inspiration, and insider information. Remember, the link to all the products I'm using is right there in the shoppable supplies link. We also have links for our club program, our club, and um, how to become a designer like me. So thanks for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.